nature and changing ecosystems. Habitats are the places where organisms live. The living things in a place interact, which means they affect each other. The place itself also affects the living thing. An ecosystem is all the living and non-living things in a certain place and their interactions. Sometimes an ecosystem changes. This change can happen fast. It can also happen very slowly. When a change happens, some living things may have trouble getting what they need. Some organisms will survive the change well. Some will have to work harder to meet their needs. Others will leave or even die. Natural events can disrupt ecosystems. Natural events cause changes in ecosystems. Events that cause damage are called natural hazards. These changes can happen suddenly. Hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, fires, and floods are types of sudden natural hazards. Natural hazards can destroy trees and other plants. They can wash away sand, soil, and rocks. Natural hazards can force animals out of their nests, dens, and burrows. Many times, animals are forced to find a new place to live. These changes are natural events that can result in new ecosystems. Living things can have a hard time finding food and water after a natural hazard. Plants that some animals eat may have washed away. Small prey may have disappeared. Sometimes animals are injured during a natural disaster. They may not be able to hunt. Water may be unsafe to drink. The picture shows a forest habitat after a fire. Some living things have adaptations that help them survive fires. Many plants that burn may take a long time to grow back. Animals that live in trees in the forest have to move. Animals that eat the plants have to find other food. Invasive species can disrupt ecosystems. Sometimes organisms come to new habitats from other places. An invasive species is a type of organism that causes harm in a place where it does not normally live. Invasive species can cause change in habitats and ecosystems. These living things may grow and reproduce at a fast rate. Many do not have predators. They can be very hard to remove from a habitat. Invasive species cause many problems. They take food and water from native plants and animals. Invasive insects may kill native trees and plants. Invasive plants can take up space that other plants need to grow. They can make it hard for sunlight to reach other plants, too. One invasive species is the lionfish. Lionfish are native to the southern Pacific Ocean and the Indian Ocean. Now they are found in the Atlantic Ocean, too. Lionfish have a big appetite. They eat more than 40 different kinds of fish and other small ocean animals. How does this affect an ocean ecosystem? Invasive lionfish eat so much that there is not enough food for native ocean animals. They also eat parrotfish, which are helpful to coral reef ecosystems. Parrotfish eat organisms that can harm coral reefs. When lionfish eat the parrotfish, the reef ecosystem may be harmed. Overpopulation can disrupt ecosystems. Sometimes too many organisms in one ecosystem can cause the entire ecosystem to change. This is called overpopulation. When there are too many of a certain type of animal, the animals might consume all the food in their habitat. Then some of the population can starve. A red tide is another example of overpopulation. In saltwater habitats, the algae sometimes reproduce too quickly. The algae turn the water red, orange, or pink. Oxygen can become scarce in the water. Fish can die when they eat the algae. Birds that eat the fish can become sick and die too. The entire coastal ecosystem is affected. 